Hey guys, just a quick video. I want to share something with you that I discovered in these last days. And it, it's kind of weird because it goes against the grain of everything you've learned in SEO. So if you're a fan of long form content or 10 times in your content or, or any of those kind of strategies, you really want to pay attention right now. So this is my SEMrush review. It's just a list of 68 ways that you can use SEMrush to increase your site, your site's presence, uh, broken down by category. And then at the end of each category, we sum it up with um, yeah, like this section in short. So um, it's a lot to digest and we just sum up each section like that. But there is 68 ways. It's pretty long um, as I scroll down here. Um, you're going to get bored before you, you, you read it, arguably. And you'll see there's also 900 comments. Um, and actually, the comments make up about 60% of the content on the page. OK, so I ran it through Surfer SEO. Typically, this page is ranked around the, the bottom of the first page of Google. And here you find it at number seven. So if we click on the audit right here, you'll see that Surfer SEO is recommending that I remove 22,000 words from the body. That's really weird advice. Like deleting content will increase your rankings. That doesn't sound right. Uh, so if we take a look at the details here, you'll see that by far my page is the outlier with 26,000 words of content compared to the number one position that has just short of 3,000. But it is the most comprehensive review. There's no doubt about that. So I decided to follow Surfer SEO's advice and I removed a bunch of the content before there were 68 ways. Now there's 19. So I deleted like nearly 50 of, of the things that you can do with SEMrush. And I also removed the this section in short at, at the end of each section because now there's only like three things in each section. There's no need to, to, to summarize it. On top of that, I also deleted all 900 comments because that was making up 60% of my word count. And the only way I could reduce my word count by 22,000 words was to delete all the comments. I literally had no choice. So that's what I did. Um, if we come back to Surfer SEO and we do another audit, you'll see that the word count is now favorable, 4,284 words. And you'll see uh, it's now kind of in line with, with, with everything else. And, and this, this result from, from the Omnicore agency is now the outlier. What do you think happened? I made these changes on October 18th. Well, they immediately went to the number one position. I made the change October 18th, number one the next day, and it stayed there. This is Google UK Mobile, Google UK Desktop, same gig, up to number one. And although, don't forget, this is a .co.uk domain. So I've also seen an increase in four positions in uh, USA Desktop. Now. And you'll see, actually, you know, it, it, it's skyrocketing there. Now, this isn't a terribly competitive keyword, but it's a commercial keyword and it generates a lot of affiliate revenue. So if I was able to do that just by deleting some of my long form content, what does that mean for your content? And I just wanted to record a quick update before I head out to Chiang Mai SEO. Today is the 5th of November, Tuesday, nearly two weeks since I recorded the video you just watched. And as you can see, it has maintained its rankings over the last couple of weeks. So the proof is in the pudding. Surfer SEO makes on-page optimization easy. It takes a scientific approach. It analyzes over 500 different factors and tells you what improvements you should make. Both myself and the larger SEO community are seeing great, great, great results with Surfer SEO at the moment. So make sure you're paying attention.